Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video and today we are going to speak regarding new patch which name will be Winter Wonderland. Everybody received the email from the development team regarding this patch but um, I will dig, dig inside and I will tell you the like, most important updates and there are a like, couple of them especially regarding war pets. So stick to the video and we will continue one by one to have a brief uh, information what's coming to our game uh, pretty soon. First of all, as we already know, soon it's Christmas, soon it's New Year, so there will be a lot of uh, new holiday events. Uh, first one is a Winter Wonderland holiday event, which is gonna last seven days. And what's most important here is like you're getting a decoration uh, rewards as in the Elven Queen uh, and like new uh, events which gonna be coming uh, with the Wonderland holiday events. Uh, also, what's important, uh, like most important update through this uh, new patch is uh, regarding uh, Smoother Road of Pros to Prosperity, which is a uh, Warped, Warped gameplay. Uh, so, they changed the way the Warped skills learn. Now you can choose which Warped skill will be replaced. So, basically, you won't gonna need to uh, bless the RNG and get lucky in order for, for you to replace the Warped skill. You simply can choose manually by yourself where you want to put this new Warped skill and it will be like uh, easier for us to like play around the Warpeds in general. Also, because a lot of people spend a lot of skills doing the with the old system, they will be like refund cards, they will get like uh, additional stars and like they are thinking about compensating to the people who already spend a lot of skills and gems and money into the game uh, with this system. Uh, they are like nerfing the Strollands Blade, which is uh, like Targets now take 15% less damage per additional target, previously 25%. So 10% less uh, uh, damage per target for a Sword Lance Blade is a nerf. Uh, I don't know why they decided to do that, but it's fine. Uh, so they are giving like even better skill improvements, like the uh, the wording will be changed. Like For, for example, Gwenwin is getting uh, like changes. When Gwenwin's Legion is, Legion's unit count is over 60%, her units deal 3% more. So which means like if Gwenwin, uh, Gwenwin's Legion will be more healthy, if Gwenwin's Legion will stay alive on the battlefield more, uh, the Legion will deal 3% uh, more damage. Also, Awakening skill of the Gwenwin is great because more you are alive, uh, more poison damage you are getting. Uh, so like they are they are giving a little nerf. Like its count is over 15%. Will be changes to the uh, this Gwenwin Legion count uh, is over 50%. Her units deal 3% more damage. So like it's a kind of nerf to Gwenwin. Uh, also they are giving like skill description improvements, like change of words, uh, structure of the sentences, and so on. Because as we already know, this game is produced in Asia, so sometimes there are like misspells and miswording, so they are uh, buffing all of that. Uh, also, they are giving like defensive structure improvements, uh, like they are reducing barricades and like from the season 2 plus, we, are not, we will not be able to uh, put uh, barricades in the battlefield, that's a big change, so big change to the structural improvements. Also, like multi legion uh, combat improvements, like uh, whenever you are, you're gonna give, have a couple of legions on the battlefield, and then you're gonna uh, choose all of them to move together. Melee units will go first, and range units will go second. That's how it should be. And now, from now on, it will be like this. Uh, uh, they are buffing the, the roots of four observation features, so it will be easier for people to. Uh, navigate and uh, watch uh, Roots of War uh, as a spectator. Uh, like uh, the small uh, updates and small buffs regarding Alliance Keep improvements, like whenever you are, you will be inside uh, the Alliance Keep, uh, you will be classed as a PvP Legion, meaning, meaning that any relevant PvP skills will be activated. Alliance help improvements also is important, like 
uh, whenever you're gonna click uh, like you will you will be receiving notifications uh, from the system when getting help you can see how many help chances are remaining for any buildings under construction or technologies being researched so it's like UI changes uh, for us to under like whenever you just click on help you are, you know you are doing something but you, you didn't actually see it for so from now on it will be easier for us to track uh, the health mechanic too. Uh, they will, they are like now they will have new Alliance Chat past messages features. You can now see the past messages in the Alliance Chat after being removed from the Alliance, even if you join a new Alliance. So like more dramas will be appear because of these small changes, like uh, nothing too important. Um, like there will are like other improvements uh, through the season two plus Hearts of Ice. Like some adjustments, UI improvements, merits display will be, we will be able to hide the merits amount for other people. I don't know why, but maybe some people need to do it because uh, like whenever there's huge wars, you are doing everything to hide your tier 5 uh, legions. So maybe this is a good idea. Also like small chat and display and emoji uh, changes, nothing really important. Uh, like basically like PC improvements uh, is like better quality of the game, new TikTok events. So like in my opinion, most and the like uh, best uh, buff and best update with this patch will be skills for the warpeds, which will be easier for us to transfer transfer skills to warpeds. Other than that, like we see that there will be like uh, holiday events, uh, there will be like season two plus events and nothing too important and on that section. I, I really like the Warped system change and I hope they will continue doing like that. Uh, that's for all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.